Right guys, so we're back with another video. We have got two pound coins. We've got our usual two pound coin hunt. Uh, here's the album we're using. We're using one of my own ones. So if you guys do like these, they are top link in the description. So here's what we're missing. England and Northern Ireland. Beijing, Roundel and Comedies. And then that is the album complete. So we did complete most of this album in literally like one episode, which is pretty cool. But hopefully we can get at least one thing for the album. You know, maybe a Northern Ireland or something like that. There's all the change at the back. I'm not in the, you know, best state. I feel a bit rough, but I still want to record a video. So bear with me. And I normally talk for the whole thing uh, for these, but yeah. All technologies in the first bag. So what I'm doing at the moment is we've got the new Gruffalo coming out on the 17th of, what was it, October. So literally like two days. And if you guys are interested, I'm doing pre-orders uh, right now. They are open. And, you know, feel free to go pre-order it. Is that 2015? It is. Awesome. So as most of you know, uh, 650,000 of these. Worth probably about, you know, four, four quid. But yeah, pre-orders are now open for that. And what everything's on the list, so it's all raw mint packaging. Dispatch within 10 days, but I'm hoping to be a lot, lot quicker. I'm just doing that to, you know, save myself. But we sold quite a lot already. And if you guys are interested, obviously, top link in the description as well. You can just use the album link. But yeah, they're all ready. I'll be doing the same for Wallace and Gromit and the Brexit 50B that are both out this month. So we've got a busy, busy month and then more technologies. But Mintage Figures came out yesterday for the 50 Bs. I literally made like a whole video on it. And like most of you, I read, well, I read most of the comments and most of you guys did say about how shocked you were um, regarding the pattern to Mintage. 2015, okay, 2016. But yeah, I'm shocked myself. I did think Pantons were gonna be like 10 mil plus but only five million, which is not that bad to be honest. And then you got the Flopsy and Rabbit, which is on its way already up. I've seen on eBay, they've been selling for about seven to 10 quid just for the circulator coin. So whoever bought loads off me for two pound 99, you are minted now. Because I know someone bought like 40 off of me at once. So yeah, that's always a nice little profit you can make on that. But What's that? Nothing. Dang. Let's hope we're going to get at least one spare common world for some Olympic two pounds. Mary Rose. And then I'll probably film... Uh, I don't know. I want to get some post office change soon. My post office don't really order change anymore because I give them all of this. So it's kind of annoying. I haven't had post office change in a long time because they just use my change I give them. What else but yeah brexit 50p i'm actually really really excited for that it's definitely a circulated coin they did say so that'd be cool to get in our change along with you know maybe the wallace and Gruffalo. or gruffalo highly doubt it so you know don't um what's it don't rely on it being circulated highly doubt it will we'll follow the other steps you know of let's say Stephen Hawkins, the previous Gruffalo. Um, what else? Snowman. We're also due a Christmas 50p as well. So yeah, it's gonna be, we're getting a hectic, hectic year. Hopefully we can get some two pound coins. It's pretty dry. We're getting the same stuff over and over again. Haven't had anything in probably about four years because the next one will come out maybe next year gotta pray gotta pray that we find one anything else nope we gotta pray for those two van coins coming out i know we're getting some uh we'll get you know two or three for definite two van coins but it's just a matter of fact are they going to be circulated all down to the treasury. Remember, it's not down to the raw men. If coins get circulated, it's all down to the treasury. They decide what figures they want of each coin. Uh, 
We haven't found anything in a while. Best find so far, 2015 Britannia. We've still got quite a lot of bags left. Mm. I'm feeling all technologies for this. Yep. Come on, what's going on? Yeah, albums. Albums are top link in the description. I've had so much feedback on them. It's unreal. Uh, sold like, you know, hundreds and hundreds already. People taking like 10 at a time. We've got St. Paul's Cathedral. Feedback is like literally all five stars. So if you guys do get an email asking for feedback, if you could, that would mean a lot. But yeah, they're, they're perfect for everything really. Nope. If you guys want to join my Discord server, feel free. I just saw a notification sign so joining. Remember, you have to be 13 years old, which is Discord's rules, not mine. Feel free to join. I've got a Facebook page if you guys want to join. Uh, well, like that, which is UK Coin Hunt. My Instagram, uk.coin.hunt. I often upload regularly on my Instagram quite a lot. We've got like 6,000 followers. We went down from 13,000, all the way down to 6,000. But it's cool. But yeah, I do upload a lot on there. Maybe four or five times a week. So feel free to head over there. I often do giveaways quite a lot on these pages. So on my Instagram, that feels a bit lethal that. Facebook as well, I do quite a lot on. Few more bags remaining, not many. We haven't had the best of pools. 2015 Britannia definitely uh, is a nice one to have. Uh, King James Bible we want. Still nothing. But I'm in the works of making some new things, uh, like a massive variety of stuff, which is the aim. Have everything, you know, on the website as possible. I'll show you something at the end of this. Um, we got another St. Paul's Cathedral. I've got something that you guys might be interested in. It's gonna be like something dead cheap, but well worth the value of the money. So I'll show you guys in a sec. Any Navy centenaries? Okay, we've got DNA double helix. Right there. Two more bags left. So, the last bag right there. Is it gonna be worth it? It's, has the luck gone, especially from when we found the Kew Gardens and Apollo luck. Here's the last bag. And we got a one pound coin in it, which means we probably, is it two one pound coins? Yeah, okay. Hopefully we haven't lost any. Put those on the side. Ah, uh, look what we got again, another centenary so last episode we had one the episode before that we had two jeez i've never had so many in my life before of these oh well that's still great so overall two good finds still nothing for the album remember top link in the description still missing the two commonwealths beijing i'm not sure when that's going to come but we've had like 10 of these now which is i'm not going to complain which is good still no roundel or comedies uh other than that that's it for the hunt. Overall best hunt. Well, best things from the hunt. We got a Navy, no, not Navy Centenary. We got a Olympic Centenary. And then we got a 2015 Britannia. So this is worth about five, six quid. I'll say about, you know, three to five quid for this. Other than that, you know, the standard DNA double helix, we got a 2016 Britannia, which isn't worth as much as the 2015s. Let me just check that we got a 2016 in here. Should be next to the Great Five London. Yep. No. So that's literally everything. 1807. Um end of World War II's St. Paul's Cathedral. And that is literally it. So if you guys do enjoy, smash the like button, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. And next hunt, maybe a two pound hunt, but more than likely probably be a 50p hunt. 
maybe find another Kew Gardens. So, peace. <laughs>